Well, the most interesting for me is the, the previous SMP question, but uh, uh, broken down to more concrete uh, challenges, uh, we, we are still uh, struggling with proving that anything, any, any problem is even somewhat difficult. Uh, that, you know, basically proving non-trivial law bounds, proving hardness results, even that, you know, multiplication is really harder than addition. We don't know that, even though everybody you ask uh, believes that. Um, uh, so this has been occupying me for, uh, you know, decades. And, uh, yeah, like everybody else, I'm failing with <laughs> doing that. Uh, other problems we were more successful with, and I'm still uh, passionate about them, is uh, understanding of randomness, the power of randomness, the limitations of randomness, when can randomness be eliminated. It seems that probabilistic al algorithms are very powerful and we are trying to understand exactly how much. So uh, this is another problem that's very dear to me. And most recently in the past five years, I uh, worked, worked extensively in uh, certain questions that I arrived to from uh, de-randomization and trying to prove lower bounds, but it's algorithmic work, work in optimization, where uh, we are trying to understand the power of uh, symmetries, um, how to use symmetries, uh, both to prove, to generate better algorithms for certain people, uh, uh, problems, and to uh, prove hardness results. So this interacts with mathematics very deeply, with uh, representation theory and invariant theory in other areas of math. A lot of the modeling that happens within the theory of computation is inspired by uh, uh, what may be practical needs. Sometimes it's practical needs, sometimes just intellectual questions. Uh, but later, sometimes much later, or sometimes sooner, is integrated into computer systems. Uh, work that uh, I've done in the mid-80s with, uh, with collaborators uh, had to do with the question of zero knowledge, of being able to prove uh, that, uh, to prove statements, mathematical statements, without giving information about the proof. Uh, as, as it happens, I mean, it seems totally inefficient, and if anybody asks me then uh, if any of this will ever find its way to a computing system, I would, uh, in fact, I gave, when I was giving lectures about it, I would say, no chance, but I was dead wrong, and recently uh, uh, these ideas, other ideas, uh, you know, lots of what the field developed, uh, theoretical cryptography, uh, and not just theoretical cryptography, also um, uh, just theoretical results about proof systems uh, are actually getting implemented today in uh, cryptocurrencies, blockchain technology, and so on. You know, there's just infinite number of things that are absolutely essential for technologies. Not all of them were developed directly for uh, creating technology. Some evolved naturally with the, I would say, with the mathematical uh, um, flow uh, of trying to understand computation in general. Uh, yeah, there are many uh, <laughs> results of mine that I, that I like. I, uh, I think uh, I particularly like the uh, Zero knowledge uh, work uh, that I did with Goldreich and Mikali uh, in the mid 80s simply because I would say it's the most surprising of all the <laughs> of all results that I have. It's sort of a paradoxical result and I'm very attached to it. We don't work for the impact, we work for understanding, like all my colleagues here in the school at the institute, we work on, you know, basically the fundamental understanding of the laws or uh, the nature of the um, field we are studying. So here it's, you know, math and uh, the theory of computation. Uh, 
Uh, the impact, uh, no doubt, comes later, but the impact may not uh, necessarily make money. It makes, you know, it turns out that it makes a lot of money uh, for, for uh, you know, society. It also changes the way society functions. Uh, uh, but that's not the purpose of, uh, you know, the work we do. I'm very happy with the fantastic young people that come here every year and, uh, yeah. The, the, the amazing things that have, have come out. Um, um, yeah, so that's uh, <laughs> what I can say about this place. I enjoy them and I, I uh, just I learn a lot every year from these young people. That's what I can say. <laughs>